Yeah. What is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions, man. It's your boy J.I. and I'm tapping back in with another banger video for y'all, man. So look, check me out. Check your boy out, man. First and foremost, I just want to say thank you. 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 Thank you so much for the support, man. We hit 7K this week. 7,000 subscribers, man. We are 3,000 subscribers away from our goal. And I couldn't be more motivated, more excited, more happy. Like, it's just, it's a great feeling, bro. Honestly, it is a great feeling to have you guys as a support system, man. Um, So, you know, that being said, bro, as y'all see, we already on the road. We jumping straight into this video. Let's go ahead and roll that intro and get right into it, man. Let's do it. Oh. <laughs> 
happy as hell if I could get this Lexus to race me, but I'm already non, probably older dude, you know what I mean? Weekend cruiser, you know, it's a drop top, soft top, drop top at that. So I doubt it, I doubt it, I doubt it. But it's lit though, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, yeah man, RK hit me the other day and was like, how's your car running? I'm like, bro, it's running phenomenal, bro. It's running phenomenal, honestly. I, I love it. I can't, I can't complain by any means. It is, it is most definitely time to turn this joint up, for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, next moves is for sure gonna be that trans tune. We all know your boy needs it, so I can shift that 7,500 instead of 6,500. <laughs> But yeah, man, honestly, real deal spill, right? Real deal spill. There is a topic that I do want to touch on. For real, for real. And it's my carbon fiber hood, bro. So lately, I've really been missing the satin black hood. Like, low-key been missing the stock 1LE look, bro. I don't I don't know what it is. 1LEs just look so good to me, bro. Like... They look so good, whether it's a 5th gen, a 6th gen, a SS, a ZL1, it don't matter, bro. Like, the 1LEs look phenomenal to me, bro. So, like, I got one, you know. I'm super stoked about it. I love it. But then, you know, the carbon fiber addiction just, you know, took over quick as hell. <laughs> it took over quick as hell, and, and we, we covered this car in carbon. And so it's like, damn, man, I really took away from that 1LE aspect. If you really, really think about it, the only thing that I have on this car that is still a part of the 1LE package is the wheels, the brakes, the suspension, the seats, the PDR, and that's it, literally. I replaced the steering wheel. I've got a carbon cover on the on the gear shift. I mean, it's still Alcantara, but you know what I'm saying? It's carbon fiber. <laughs> so like everything is really like carbon fibered out. It's like my boy Showtime say, man, carbon fiber 1LE, man. You know what I mean? The carbon 1LE, it, you know, that's the name that I really did dub this car. But at the end of the day, it didn't have enough carbon on it for it to live up to the name at the time. This is when I first picked the car up. So that's why I went with Vader. Plus, Vader is way easier to say than Carbon 1LE. It's one word versus two, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, so yeah, man, Um, the topic that I wanted to touch on, bro, is the Carbon hood. Bro, don't get me wrong. I love the look of the exposed Carbon. I really do. All the Carbon looks crazy on the front end. But bruh, that satin black wrap on that hood really transformed the look of this car, bro. It really did. To the point where it's like, Brody. Like it's a no-brainer to, to wrap this hood satin black. But not the whole thing. See what I'm saying? So you guys gotta bear with me because I wanna wrap part of the hood satin black and leave some exposed carbon. I feel like personally, that would be hard as hell because then at that point, I'm still integrating the 1LE aspect back into the car, but it still has the JI twist of carbon on there. So it's more unique. You know what I'm saying? The car will stand out way more. You'll know it's my car even more other than all the other reasons why you know it's my car. You know what I'm saying? And also, it'll just look really, really good. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comment section down below. How does that sound to y'all? Do y'all, are y'all rocking with that? Are y'all not? Have y'all hit the like button? Have you not? You should hit the like button. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, bro, the likes, the comments, you watching the video all the way through, all of that is what tells YouTube, hey, this is a video that we should be promoting. Why are we in the fast lane? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was just about to say, what are you doing in the fast lane in your minivan going slow? <laughs> it's hella foggy today, boy. What the hell? It's mad foggy today. But anyway, yeah, all of those things literally tell YouTube, hey, this is a video we should be promoting to new viewers, and then that's how we reach 
reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers. Word of mouth is one thing, but actually working along the guidelines of the system and getting in the algorithm, that is a whole nother ball game, bro. A whole nother ball game. So that being said, y'all, please do your boy a favor. Like, comment, hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications. It goes a very, very long way for the channel. But yeah, man, honestly, thank you guys for 7,000 subscribers, bro. Honestly, bro, like I'm really been, I've really been on a cloud ever since I saw the 7K. I've really been on a cloud. So thank you guys so much. It really means the world to me. Um, but yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about that, that, that rap idea, bro. You feel me? Y'all see how Vader's running. We got E70 in the car right now. I went to one of the gas stations that I really don't like getting E85 from, but I had no choice because I wasn't gonna make it to any other gas station at all. <laughs> so I pumped a cool 15 in there, and right now I'm really just trying to like burn, burn this stuff out, bro, so I can put in the real good E85, man. You know what I'm saying? The real E80, E82 that comes from HEB, man. No cap. But yeah, man, I. I don't know. I love this car, bro. I love it. I really do. I, I love this car. I want to wrap the car. I really do because the black, not only is it like... <laughs> I just wanted y'all to hear those ships real quick. <laughs> but yeah, not only, like the black is... It's dope, you feel me? It's definitely very sinister, it's very aggressive, it's very menacing. However, however, it doesn't really grab your attention in a thumbnail. It doesn't really grab your attention in the parking lot of a car meet. You know what I mean? Because it's almost like a camouflage, bro. It, it really be blending in. So that being said, I really wanna wrap this car. I have a color that I really wanna do. Actually, I have two of them. One of them my wife is not a fan of because I've done it already. And that should tell you <laughs> what color it is if you've been a part of the J.I. squad for a minute or not. If not, it's cool, it's understandable. Um, Let me see, I think the 360 might have stopped recording. Ugh. Oh, that's crazy work. That's crazy work, y'all see that shit? Brody, I don't even know how long it's been like that. <laughs> I hope I hope it didn't fall once we hit our 6160 pull. It probably did. It probably did drop after the 6160 pull. And I had a feeling that it would. I really did. But I was like, man, you know what? It'll be all right. It held up the last video. <laughs> but then again, the last video, I didn't do a 6160 pull. So that just shows you guys all the Gs that the car pulls whenever it's pushing through that air, man. Well, not even G's, I'm tripping. You pulling G's when you're turning. What the hell am I talking about? <laughs> anyway, the wind for sure pushed that joint down. And I didn't even look in the rear view mirror to see if it was still upright or not. That's my fault, y'all, that's my fault. But with all that being said, y'all, again, I really just wanted to come on here and thank you guys for 7K. For real, for real, it really means a lot, man. This journey has been ups and downs, but one thing that it has been consistent, consistently is fun, bro. I love it, I really do, I love it. So that being said, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I'ma roll that outro. If you're new, subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a like, drop a comment, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.